Hey, 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 welcome to the Zen Den. And I want to talk to you today a little bit about meditation. So uh, maybe you are someone who has meditation as part of your daily practice, and that is who you are, and that is something that you value. Or maybe you've been someone who has tried meditation repeatedly and decided you're not good at it and said, fuck it. Or maybe you have been one of those people who said, I actually can't meditate. I'm just not a meditator. It's not my thing. I don't do it. Um, I was part of that last camp pr pretty solidly, actually. Um, in fact, believe what you believe, but I have had multiple experiences with multiple mediums or tarot readers or clairvoyance um, or spiritually connected folks who have repeatedly given me this message that I needed to meditate. In fact, when my husband and I were in New Orleans, we had this beautiful, she was a gypsy. She was just the most spectacular gypsy woman, like clad in purples, all the rich plums and purples. And she literally jingled when she moved her hands and she was just spectacular. Anyway, she was a tarot reader and she really wanted to read, to read me and, and, um, and the message, I, you know, honestly, I'll be honest, I don't remember the whole message because the one message that I did walk away with was the one that literally got my back up and turned me into a bitch for the rest of the day, which was that I needed to stare at a candle more often, that I needed to meditate. Well, I was like, fuck this every time. It's always meditate, meditate, meditate. That's right. I actually like tailspun and, um, and she just looked at me and she's like, it's what your soul needs. And Peter, my beloved husband laughed his ass off because he was like, this isn't news, but she's never going to do it. And I always said like, I'm just not, I'm just not a meditator. I can't meditate. Um, so fast forward and, uh, you know, I I had to hit the wall, which is partly why I'm doing this, because I don't ever want to see someone else hit the wall like I did or have their own experience of hitting their own wall because walls fucking suck. Um, but I literally had to stop. Um, and it was because I literally shut down. And... Well, it was the most disempowering experience initially. It has been the most beautiful and empowering experience moving through it. And the truth is that a piece of it, not all of it, but an important piece of it has been meditating. And, you know, meditation doesn't have to be complicated. It really is being intentionally and I have experienced meditation walking I have experienced meditation doing pottery I have experienced meditation sitting and petting our pandemic puppy but whatever the case is even in traditional meditation, which by the way, if you say, oh, I can't find any resources to meditate and I don't know how, um, it's probably on your fucking phone. If you have YouTube, you can meditate. Um, if you have Spotify, if you have Apple, you can meditate. Um, there are millions of free meditations out there. And the truth is not all of them fit. Like I've listened to, I can't stand the person's voice or I can't stand the music. And that just doesn't fit comfortably for me. But the process of meditation is to actually notice what feels uncomfortable and let it be there. Or notice what thoughts come in and let them be there. 
and then gently return. And it's that gentle return part that I actually sucked the most at because I'd be like, oh my God, you can't fucking meditate. Look at you looking at all of these other things in your mind instead of nothingness. And it's like, oh, that's the point of meditation. Oh, even the most masterful Buddhists who meditate for hours a day with no complications of external input all of the time still have the experience of having thoughts flow in, acknowledging them and letting them flow away. The other piece of meditation that I have found is that it, for me, it's about slowing down. So whether I am sitting petting my dog or on a gentle walk or sitting and listening to an audio, it's a way to just slow down and be. Um, and the truth is that I have all kinds of stuff around slowing down and being. But you can slow down and be in front of the TV, but that's called dissociation sometimes, or escapism, or entertainment. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not entertainment, but what I am saying is that that's a different kind of care for yourself than meditation is. So, um, yeah, you know what? Light a candle, stare at the fucking flame. I'm not going to lie. I have candle lit right here, right now. I'm not meditating with it, but I do enjoy candles. I did get the best candle in the world this weekend at my all time world favorite florist, which is earthy accents in Bentley. Um, but she carries really cool stuff. And one of the things that she's carrying is a wax hand mold of a middle finger. Um, and it's not just any kind of wax, it's candle wax. So in theory, I could burn the finger off, but I don't think I ever will. No, I will someday, but, um, it's beautiful. And you know what? Like that's a candle I can get behind staring at. Um, kind of joking, kind of not right. Like I've had a huge fuck you to meditation for a whole lot of years. And now that I'm kind of befriending it gently, not even close to perfectly, like, I try to meditate daily, but I don't. I do track it though. So if I don't meditate, I do recognize that I haven't and just acknowledge it. Um, so yeah, so meditations. I'm going to be putting up meditations on my website so that you can listen to me walk you through some of the processing of meditation that I've experienced and some of the audios that I'm going to put together to meditate with. But in the meantime, um, I'll throw some links up of some of my favorites and also, um, just remember Google is your friend, Google free meditation, self love five minutes. Um, you know, and that's the other thing, free meditation, relaxation, five minutes. When I say meditation is a practice. It really is a practice and starting at five minutes can feel like a hell of a lot of time when you start. It was for me and some days it still is for me. I'm up personally to occasionally as in like maybe once or twice a week, 15 minutes. That's all that I allow myself for now. And the reason I say that's all that I allow myself for now is because really I'm the only one standing in the way of meditating more. So right now though, that's where I'm at and that's okay. So meditation, my friends, meditation is a beautiful gift you can give to yourself. It really truly is. I cannot emphasize enough how it has changed the lives of people I know and it has been incredibly impactful in my life. I love you. You're amazing. You're wonderful. Go meditate. Give it to yourself. Give it a try. Mwah.